What's going on guys? Nostalgia Rolls back here again with another video. So I went to uh, three garage sales. So I'm going to show you guys what I found. Stick around and let's have some fun. Alright, so today I got some awesome things at three different garage sales that were local to me. The first thing here was this, uh, it's not going to fit all on the screen, but Atari flashback. Everything was, uh, I got this at a cheap price and everything's all included in here. Uh, these systems, for anyone that's not familiar with them, they're basically like plug and play uh, HDMI port um, emulators is essentially what they are. Uh, pretty much it's a computer chip with a bunch of different games on it uh, fashioned to look like the actual system itself and let me see I think I could just take this out and show you guys if I can figure out oh here we go okay Okay, so this one is actually the uh, audio video cables, and this is what it looks like. So yeah, it's just a little system that looks like an old school Atari. See, they got that wood grain there. That's so cool. I don't remember the, uh, yeah, they didn't have difficulty buttons on the original Atari but yeah that's awesome so that's those and they come with two controllers which the controllers I'm not 100% on how to use them oh here we go batteries yep of course so that's that but yeah that's cool all right, put that guy back. All right, so next thing I found was uh, Mr. Elf here. This is, uh, I believe it's called Surf and Elf from 1988. Also, uh, all this stuff was, these plushes were from a smoke-free home. Nah, you're not gonna be able to see that, but yeah. So 1988, ALF. For anyone that's not familiar, ALF was a TV show back in the 80s. It was very popular. ALF was basically an alien that uh, liked to eat cats. So that was his, uh, his course, or main course meal on his uh, planet where he came from. And a family took him in and hilarity ensued so yeah that's pretty much it uh but yeah elf was an awesome show um i actually had one of these guys when i was a kid so that was cool seeing that a couple other things here i got a lamp timer that is still new in the package uh, you can see the price on that i got an organizer I mean, these are kind of out, like this kind of thing is kind of out, outdated a little bit, but people still use them, you know, they schedule their, their things and put their, you know, that could replace a, a written phone book. Cause I know some people are old school and they want things in different places and, you know, kept it all together. So that's what that's for. All right. So the main thing, got this nice bag. No. Uh, this bag is just, it came with uh, the purchase that I made, so, I mean, I don't really need it, but it came with it. So, I was looking at these plush dolls. This is uh, Lucy. I believe, yeah. I mean, don't... Uh, 
don't hate me for not knowing exactly, but this is from 1963, guys. Okay, so there was this bag sitting on the ground, and I start looking through it, and I noticed this, plus some other cool things, uh, from Charlie Brown and Snoopy Show. Still has the tag. Snoopy Fan Club. I wonder if we could still join it. So that's awesome. I haven't, I didn't look any of these up because the lady gave me a really good price, so I didn't even bother, but once I start seeing super old stuff and start looking at tags and stuff, like, this is legit. So, this guy, he's got some uh, Warner Brothers Studio Store. He's got some, uh, <laughs> he's got some uh, marks on him, you know. So, he's not in the, the best of shape, but that's the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. And then we have the Cowardly Lion, which these are in good shape. There's not really any stains or nothing on them. There's him. And then I believe this is Raggedy Ann and Andy. Uh, this has stains on it, but I don't know how to clean this off. And I don't know where a tag is on here. But yeah, these are all old school. Annie from 1979. Wow. And she's in good condition. Yeah, super old school, guys. Danny. So that's pretty much it, guys. I got some cool things. These plushes are definitely pretty awesome. I mean, these... Uh, the Wizard of Oz ones were from 2000, but the other ones are super old. I mean, like 80s and 60s and all that. So, yeah, definitely, I don't want to put this guy back in here all the way because I don't want to. Oh, never mind, I'll do it. Okay, so, yeah, all in all, it was a good haul. I'm very, uh, very happy with it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's always cool to find old stuff. I also sold some things recently, which I'm going to talk about really quick. Uh, I sold a video game. It was uh, Star Wars for the original Xbox, which was uh, playable on the Xbox One. And I actually tested that out on my own Xbox One, and it started loading up the uh, backwards compatible uh, download for it. I sold uh, the top of the pop hits of the 50s. I sold a couple other things that I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about. Um, I'm just gonna post them on the screen because I can't remember offhand. This is basically like my journey into being a newer eBay reseller. I have an eBay account. I've had one for quite some time, but this is the first time I'm getting serious about it as a part-time hobby of mine. So I just checked out a, another garage sale. This one, I was the first one there. Well, not necessarily the first one, because I think they had some neighbors here, but I was one of the first people there. And that's when you get the best stuff. So, I got a couple things. I'm not going to uh, show them while I'm driving, but I can tell you what I got. So, one of the things I got was uh, Friends, the Complete Series DVD set. Uh, that was, I tried to talk 
the person down and I couldn't really talk her down but I got that for a good price I also picked up uh, Fraggle Rock the complete series they only had four seasons of that and I got the whole thing so that's cool I also picked up an Xbox Connect, which a lot of people use for streaming and that sort of thing. That was also a really good uh, deal on that. And I got, well I can show you this because I'm right, so it's, it's all good, barbecue grill. So that barbecue grill is not even used. It was still in the box, brand new. Just open box, new open box. So that's gonna be an awesome, uh, awesome sale. I got that for a good price too. So uh, yeah, good finds guys. It pays to be one of the first people at a garage sale or a state sale because that's usually when the best stuff is there. If you get there later or the second or third day, I mean, your chances of getting something good are slim to none. I mean, it might still be there. I'm not saying it's impossible, but when there's really not nothing going on and maybe people are bringing stuff back out, I mean, that's a possibility as well, because in that case, then yes, you absolutely will pick up some good things, but usually if someone's just having a, a one or two day sale, during those one or two days, everything is going to be pretty much gone, so, you know, you got to take it for what it is. Like I said, uh, I'm very happy with the stuff that I found here. I spent... probably around 25 or 30 bucks total and with everything and I should be able to get 80 to 100 maybe more and I always say that I always say that I'm gonna get a hundred bucks I mean I may not get a hundred bucks but I'm definitely gonna make my money back plus some and I'm gonna get hopefully more feedback you know, that's the thing about feedback. Like, I notice out of like, I get like one out of five feedback. So I send five things out. I get one feedback, maybe, and that's it. Which, you know, that's fine with me. Uh, you know, I try to package stuff up as best as I can. I'm not just throwing something in a box and calling it a day. You know, bubble wrap packaging material is cheap plus you can recycle stuff that you've had before so I, I try to do the best job that I can and if I get good feedback cool if not oh well you know at least I gave the the customer a good product and that makes me feel good inside that uh, chances are they're probably not going to leave a negative feedback unless something is uh messed up but you just have to be honest with people you know don't don't um, stray away from listing something or you know be afraid just put whatever is going on with it if it's got scratches put it as scratches if it's miscolored or faded or whatever just list that stuff and nine times out of ten you're not gonna really have to worry about anything so, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to go home. I'm going to straighten some stuff up. I got two new shelves from Ikea that I built yesterday, and it actually was pretty easy, surprisingly. So uh, I'll show you a picture of that. And, uh, yeah. I mean, that's really going to streamline things for me. I got all my stuff set up down there, all my packaging material, and I could just take it down there, lay it, 
measure it, package it up, and put it in one of my bins that I have, and I'm good to go. So it makes things a lot easier that way. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I really wasn't planning on doing a second part to this video, but I figured I had to because, uh, you know, I got some awesome things at that garage sale. So uh, you guys take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.